Located in the Caribbean, Trinidad and Tobago is a twin isle country of 1.3 million, known for its rich biodiversity, carnival, and soca music. In the concentrated urban and industrial western coastline of Trinidad, there is a maritime industry in the north, while its industries and oil pipelines can be seen radiating from southwest of the coast. Bounded by the Gulf of Paria, the coastline is home to the water taxi route, whilst the major land transportation routes lie along the coastline. Located at the foothills of the extended northern range, the sheltered coastline of the Northwest Peninsula has a rich military history, is known for its booming maritime industry, commercial and service industry. Belt development directly on the coastline increases vulnerabilities, encourages unsustainable practices and limits access to the beaches. The overall development in the Northwest Peninsula aims to preserve the natural environment and encourage tourism. Located southwest of Trinidad, Labre, known for the world's largest pitch lake, is a rural town rich in history, culture and resources. Unfortunately, the extractive industries do little to benefit the area as it remains to date one of the poorest towns in the country. Damaged roadways, water issues and lack of jobs, Labre has and is experiencing it all. Through sustainable development, proper planning and economic diversity, the area can be developed for the benefit of future generations. Point Fortin was once an area used mainly for agriculture in terms of cocoa and coconut farming, which offered little employment within the area. However, with the 19th century oil boom, major focus went into extraction of oil and gas, which provided more employment than agriculture. Implementing water taxis along the west coast can help allow for better connectivity and generate revenue by transporting persons as well as goods for trade and commerce. Boardwalks can act as both a seawall and a walking strip used for recreation by persons within the community. With the rising sea levels caused by climate change, seawalls along the coast are now more vital than ever to act as a barrier against coastal erosion. In order to achieve sustainable communities and cities, sustainable housing is an important factor. It can aid in providing better suited homes for the communities that exist along the coast as everyone has a right to adequate shelter and safety.